All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us in this problem, and I'm not, I don't want to spend too much time again going on this because we're going to get into this a lot more um, when, we're getting, when we're getting into there. But all they're asking us to do for this, Brittany, is they're saying in this exact note, they say, find the value of theta in degrees between 0 and 90 and radians between 0 pi f without the aid of a calculator. All right? So if you guys think about that, let's take the unit circle. Right? Unit circle. We start always here. If I was to rotate halfway around the circle, that would be pi, and that would be pi halves, right? Or 180 degrees and 90 degrees. They said they only want you to find the angle in between 0 and 90 and 0 and pi halves, right? So guess what? We don't care about the rest of this. So I'm just going to put it as like a, a dotted line. We don't care about the rest of the unit circle. We only care about the first quadrant. So now they're asking us, what is the angle? What is cosine of the what angle is equal to square root of 2 over 2? Now, is square root of 2 over 2 a point on the unit circle? Yes. So we know when we have a point on the unit circle that the cosine represents the what coordinate? The x coordinate. So the reason why I gave these to you guys is so you guys can get practice on knowing what are those points on the unit circle. And I'll just tell them to you right here. Because you have to know these points. Okay. So now, when looking at the points in the first quadrant, when is cosine of what angle or what, um, so let's go ahead and write down the points. So my first angle is pi over 6. Second angle is pi over 4. And third angle is pi thirds. So which one of those angles is my x coordinate equal to square root of 2 over 2? Pi over 4. So the answer, so theta is equal to pi over 4. Or that's the same thing as 45 degrees. That's it. Done. Okay. Now, there's one thing I want you guys to be aware of. We're not going to talk about it.